Okay, here we are down at our Pinkham Brook property, September uh, 19th. We're in, we're doing a timber sale here. I posted a couple videos uh, last week of the harvester working. He's now worked through, uh, you know, at least half of the lot here. So we're looking at a very fresh residual stand. I'm standing right in the middle of the trail, which is just cut probably on uh, Friday. If you look up the trail, I don't know if this will show up, you can see we flag all of our trails in pink ribbon and then hand the operator an Avenza file so he can follow them. So he's got both ribbon and a map in his, in the cab of the Ponzi Scorpion. Um, here, we're, because the topography is really quite steep, we're, we're laying out trails widely apart. It's, you can't just go anywhere here. So we're finding ways up probably 100, 120 feet apart. Normally we'd use 80 feet. Um, and the trees were all marked to cut, right? So this is our classic example here of our irregular shelter wood approach to almost everything we do. You see the wood cut here, we're removing some spruce, some older spruce, red maple, logs, uh, hardwood pulpwood, and red oak pulpwood. You look over Yonder, there's a couple of red oak saw logs beside the trail. Uh, hemlock, uh, more in the other part of the lot. There's one here, I guess. And the residual stand, if you look around, is, is this classic sort of two-layered canopy where you have dominant, in this case, it's mostly red oak and one nice white pine here in the main canopy, all crown thin in a matrix. And then if you look up the trail, we see a group of mostly tall advanced regeneration. That's uh, from a harvest that we now can date reliably from the stumps that happened exactly 30 years ago, 1991, as I can tell. So we have a 30 year cohort here. Some of it's pretty open and we've kind of daylighted that in places. So that's that's just sort of group irregular shelter wood. The other rest of this is more continuous canopy irregular shelter wood where Again, we have this dominant cohort of oak, which is about 85 years old, again by aging, same with the spruce. So this is an old even age stand from the 1930s, I guess. And then in the mid story, probably the trees are the same age. There's both older tall spruce, probably that just got uh, way behind the oak and the pine from the, the 1930s harvest. And then there's another cohort from the harvest in 1991 that's 30 years old in this uh, mid-story, understory, which we're trying to favor. It's here, unlike many places, it's mostly red spruce and some white pine. It's a beautiful species composition. Yes, there is some fir, but it's not its not dominant like in many places. So we have an excellent um, irregular canopy structure. Just, again, focus strictly on leaving the best growing stuff, both the existing saw log trees and the future stand of these mostly red spruce. This, this area down, this is in Bucksport, Maine, which is this kind of unique forest type down here. There's oak red spruce type with white pine in it. It's just almost nowhere else, really. And it's because of the soils are these lime and scudic. Uh, they're not particularly fertile and they, they're droughty, although you wouldn't know it now because we've had a lot of rain. Uh, the fir just does not do well on those soils. Neither does the beech, really. So the, the, the northern hardwoods that are grow here are mostly white birch and uh, red maple. And they are not thriving, but this this is where we want. We've got the species we want, and we're just trying to go with it. The challenge here will be in the end to replace the oak. Um, but we just came from our orchid lot where we saw nice oak regeneration. So these oaks, this will serve as a shelter wood for the oak. And the only challenge there will be to, to make sure we hunt the deer hard enough, or our neighbors do, so that the, some of that oak survives. That may or may not happen, but we'll always have the conifers. So good.